Hi everyone, I'm Edward Barnes and this is Songbook Shorts. Blue Moon is one of the most well-known and popular standards in the Great American Songbook, but you might be surprised that the song we know of as Blue Moon didn't start out that way. In 1933, songwriters Richard Rogers and Lawrence Hart were in Hollywood under contract to MGM. One of their first assignments was to write a song for Gene Harlow to sing in a film called Hollywood Party. The boys thought it would be fun to have Gene Harlow sing a prayer to become a movie star. So they came up with this. Oh Lord, if you're not busy up there, I ask for help with a prayer, so please don't give me the air. The song was never recorded though. MGM changed its mind and Gene Harlow was dropped from the movie. Months later, the studio asked Rogers and Hart to create the theme song to a film called Manhattan Melodrama. Rather than start from scratch on this assignment, the boys decided to just repurpose the tune they'd previously written for Gene Harlow. So Larry Hart came up with a fresh set of lyrics, and the new theme song went like this. Act one. You gulp your coffee and run. Into the subway you crowd. Don't breathe, it isn't Allowed. But while filming Manhattan Melodrama, MGM changed its mind again, and instead of the title song, they asked Rogers and Hart to shift and create a song for the movie's nightclub scene. Not wanting to waste the work they'd already done, Larry Hart reimagined their song with a third new set of lyrics. And this time, the song actually made it into the movie. Oh, Lord, what is the matter with me? I'm just permitted to see the bad in every man. Oh, hear me, Lord, I could be good to a lover, but then I After Manhattan Melodrama opened, MGM was all set to publish Larry and Dick's song, The Bad in Every Man. And then this happened. On July 22, 1934, gangster John Dillinger attended a showing of Manhattan Melodrama at the Biograph Theater in Chicago. And as he exited the theater, federal agents gunned him down. Worried that the song The Bad and Every Man would now be associated with John Dillinger, MGM asked Rogers and Hart to rewrite the song yet again, this time as a romantic song, one that had nothing to do with Manhattan melodrama. What do you mean, something like June Moon Spoon? Larry Hart asked the producers. Yeah, said MGM, give us something commercial. So Larry Hart gave it one more shot, and this last and final version of the song, the romantic and commercial version, was introduced by band leader Ted Fiorito on a radio show called Hollywood Hotel on October 19, 1934. And the rest is history. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own Blue moon You knew just what I was there for You heard me saying a prayer for Someone I really could care for And then there suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms will ever hold I heard somebody whisper please adore me And when I looked the moon had turned to gold Blue moon Now I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my heart 
without a love of my own. 